Welcome, free spoolers. It's time for another Tahoe Tuesday. I am coming at you from Tahoe, and I have a short report from one of the channel's supporters. Steve Lowe sent in a couple of nice pictures of his catches over the weekend. Steve reports that he had a really hot bite Saturday and Sunday, and he couldn't keep the fish off. He used night crawlers, and he was fishing on the north side of the lake, north of Sandra Harbor. So, I would say if you have the inclination, get out there and uh, cast your lines out. You don't need a boat to get out and catch fish. Thanks again, Steve. For any viewers of this channel that have reports, please send them in, and I'll be certain to give you credit and fill out the report in more detail. Well, good afternoon, free spoolers. Welcome back. We're going to be attempting to go catch some trout of one flavor or another. Brown trout, rainbow trout, hell, maybe even leg trout if things go as unexpectedly planned. It is a afternoon. It is about 2 o'clock. I'm also going to try and fit in a gear review. I ended up picking up some of those Crazy Hawk side planers just because uh, the last time, if any of you watched the video, I ended up with a bird's nest. When I pulled in my two lines at the end of the evening, there was a fish on there, and it, it, when a fish gets on there across the line, and tangle them up and it could be a nightmare so i'm putting i'm putting on some side planners i picked up off of amazon they're called crazy hawk and they have some good reviews and they have some not so good reviews they're a chinese made version of a usa product product called offshore side planers so we'll see how how it works out i'll try and do a you know a decent enough review of on the water there's all kinds of videos on how to set them up so wish uh, wish me luck and uh, i'll see you on on the water looking straight ahead hopefully you can see okay there is uh, Tahoe sport fishing or sport fishing Tahoe there's a boat straight out and I'm guessing they're jigging for probably Mackinac maybe Kokanee but I'm guessing where the depth is where they are it's uh, Mackinac so they're steady Eddie they're out here all the time as you can see it's a beautiful day today though all right we're underway very slowly just motoring on out and we're looking for fish. Come along. We're trolling along the western shore at about three and a half miles per hour, and I realized, hey, I have a special guest aboard I need to introduce. Meet Mrs. Free Spooling, a.k.a. Captain. As good captains do, she delegates authority, goes forward, and the beauty before me causes me a reaction. The sheer majesty of it all is remarkable how you can get so close to the shore and still be so deep. We're in over a hundred feet of water right here. That is marvelous. Well, beauty leads to a beautiful thing. Fish on! Fortunately for you viewers, there was an issue with the recording. And so what you can hear now is a musical interlude while the fish catching going goes on, which many of you will probably be very grateful for.
So as you can see, no super large fish were uh, brought into the boat. There were a couple of big strikes and big fights, but the fish ended up getting off well before I was able to photograph them. The report is basically the fish is pretty good, but right now the catching is smaller fish, and that probably could be attributed to the water temperature, which is still 59 degrees. The bigger fish seem to get closer to shore when it cools down further. What uh, what I was using to catch the fish, about 300, 250 feet out from the boat, uh, braid up until the last 150 feet of leader using jerk baits, uh, mid divers. I'll put up a um, shortly a couple of pictures of what I used, but I would say jerk baits of your choice, mid to deep divers. Um, anywhere from 3.5 to 5.0 speed, and have at it. The the fishing is is not bad. There's very little fishing pressure, and as you saw earlier in the video, the shore fishing is pretty good as long as you find some rocks to fish from. And I'm guessing the fishing will only get better as the water temperature cools down. We will probably see that uh, later into October and. November. You'd be too concerned if you don't have a boat because the shore fishing will be pretty good. The fish aren't going to mind the cold. You'll just have to dress appropriately because it will definitely be a challenge. Well, about wrapping things up right now, and I got to tell you, it's been a fun day, interesting day, testing out uh, new gear, which was <laughs> and several bites and several equals, probably five or more, but only two stuck. And I brought uh, two of them in. And so thanks for coming along. Tahoe Tuesday is a good thing. Well, at least hopefully you think it's a good thing, but it, it will end soon here because the boat's gonna have to come out of the water by the end of the month, which is October 31st, Halloween-y. Tight lines and good times.